I level rivals two player. Um, and honestly, I'm so pumped. Uh, what, Man's how? claiming to be a top Rivals 2 player when the game's, I said not, high even, level. I said the high game's level. not even out yet. Like, yeah, I'm the best in my apartment, bro. You know, I, like. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> in my neighborhood, I'm like top five. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, you know, that, that that's a... You, you try estimate. sweeping Elizabeth, New Jersey. You try doing oh, that. Oh, you know what? I, that's understandable. I'm in New York City, so I, probably, <laughs> I, I get it, bro. No, that one you can't claim because you just know there's some, like, yeah. random <laughs> goblin in his apartment. In my apartment like, building, like, <laughs> somewhere <laughs> hiding in my walls, bro. Locked into VR, yeah. <laughs> like, like, just constantly playing. All right, so this is going to be our next matchup here. we got Sparks21 facing off against Toothbrush. Locks it up versus Rano. Should be a good one. I was just explaining that Loxodon's one of the newer characters from the Rivals universe coming yeah. here onto Rivals 2. The Overlord, right? The, a fire? Yeah, isn't the, isn't the, that his vibe? The uh, the main antagonist from the Fire Capital that uh, kind of just, like, usurped the throne and is now here finally playable. I like to compare him to, like, Crag a little bit, except he's like the opposite of Crag, right? He's not, he's floaty. He's not a fast faller. Yeah, I think the best Smash comparison at this point would be King DDD. Mm, uh, yeah, if I was yeah, to yeah. do that, like projectile play is pretty similar. He throws up that big ball. He's got these massive hitboxes, but he's got the punishment of being a kind of a lighter character with a worse recovery than the other heavies. Right. Um, uh, which ha is his big downfall, especially in a matchup like Rano, where Rano, if he gets a pop up on Loxodon, Loxodon stays in the air to get comboed so much, and then he just dies to an up smash like 100. So it's yeah. a really brutal matchup, honestly, sometimes. Oh, most definitely. And now, like, in these process, we're kind of seeing here, but the command grab coming in. Oh, what it up here? That was an insane. I didn't think you could ledge snap after that. That was kind of ugh. <laughs> that would have been a little disgusting, right? Could have uh, uh, sent you flying towards the bottom. But Rano, on the other hand, this character is all about the quick movement coming in, trying to get some uh, quick attacks on you to be able to rack up that combo damage, while also trying to apply those little poison darts to you to add on that debuff. Yeah, no, the poison darts uh, are brutal sometimes, especially if you're a character that puts out a lot of hitboxes. Ooh, that's the first use of parry that we've seen this game. Mm. I mean, that's a good use of it, right? When it's like a clearly obvious hitbox, like yeah. King DDD up special, right? Coming back right down towards you. I love the use of the bubble, by the way, to block out that boulder Ooh, charge. Ooh, good charge on the down smash. Gonna get that first stock. Easy. Doesn't even want to go for a tech chase opportunity there. Just recognize what was gonna happen. Comes right back in. Reverse aerial rush back here to clean up that first stock. Turning into a two stock a piece. Yeah, no, we're gonna be seeing that. If you guys don't recognize that, that is the galaxy screen. I'm pretty sure that's still the call in this the, game, the right? The galaxy screen? Yeah, that's what it was in Rivals 1. So I'm, oh. just trying, I'm trying to get that terminology over. I'm trying to help I out see. the people. I see, I see. Okay. Uh, that basically is a secured kill other than Tex. So if someone's gonna die, they're they're dead. If they're hitting the air with that, they're gone. Uh, if you see that big purple flash. Uh, speaking of big purple flash, we're seeing a lot of charges here on the locks Ooh. and on the big purple. That means we got three charges. We're going to use it all on the down special, which gives them the maximum amount of height when it's fully charged like that. Yeah, no, we got magma armor coming into play here, which is just so good for locks. It helps as a recovery option, a combo tool, and honestly, it's kind of just brutal to get hit by. Yeah, it also enhances his strong attacks, too. He managed to throw that out there. It makes it last a little bit longer. Yeah, so I've been caught points. by that linger a lot. Dude, it's <laughs> tough, man. <laughs> Coming back in with another toxic bubble to try to push you right back off stage. Oh, another grab up throw action. What are we going to try to do here? Oh, getting away from that somehow. Do the ledge drop. Okay, let's see here. Edge guard situation. Ran up, setting up that bubble, doing a stall. Good, good little tongue to the to, to the bubble and getting back. Really good to be able to synergize, right? The bubble with the side special, the tongue be able to kind of mix up where you're going to be able to go to how you're going to build this. Tons of wall jumps coming out here. Another up special yeah. be able to come right back in, trying to deny these wall jumps that, from actually existing. But now, oh, he makes it! How? Smart. Forward throw, not going to kill. That forward throw works in a really interesting way. The strong, if you di in, the strong hitbox doesn't hit you. But if you di out, you basically get murked. Oh, what a fair! Dude, the last like 20 seconds just took place in the ocean. That was just like <laughs> under the water here in the port. The Jeez. benefit on being a, being a merchant in this society. Okay, another back throw off that ledge grab in the moment. Favorite things about Rivals of Ether and Rivals 2, the final stocks giving a stage transition. Yeah, kind of reminding the players, this is what you're playing for. Yeah. And we got full charge on this. Oh my god, on Locks of on Dalby. Yo. What a usage of it. Bro, that entire sequence started off of a jab. Oh! Side being off stage, trying to get ledge first. Bumps Rano off. What's going to happen? Can't be able to find it. Goes for another ledge drop. Throws out a molten core. Where are we going this time around? Lots forward of air, mix up air. with the movement. Oh, tried to use the uh, the down before there. What a back here, though, to make it back. 
Does it right off of the jump. Here we go, another Molten Core coming your way, trying to avoid these darts, trying to play as safe as possible, because Toothbrush is bleeding out right now, 131. Yeah, this is where it locks it on so strong. His hitbox is, oh, trying to DI into the bubble, but just got smacked. Oh man, we ended up the baseball swing to finish Home off run. that stock. Give himself a grand slam, thank you, man. We gotta remember the very beginning of that stock, like, I think that was like 60 plus damage already racked up by Spark off of a single jab. Because yeah. jab from Loxodon is so good, good. It cancels into tilt and then tilt can combo into grab, into anything you want and just keep the train uh, going. So you just got to respect that jab. Yeah, no, Loxodon jab is one of the best, uh, one of the best jabs in the game for confirming. Like, Loxodon is a slow character, so... When he finds a hit, it normally will lead into something else. And that's what the character's entire premise is, basically. Um, as just this big sortie with this axe that just destroys you if he gets in close contact. If there's one weapon I've always wanted in a platform fighter, it's, <laughs> it's been an axe. How have we not had this yet? You Locks are right. On. Locks it on's the first, really? Locks it on is, I, I would say, yeah. That is nuts. I haven't thought about that. I just like the idea of you like imagining weapons that you want to see in platform fighters. Yeah. Next oh. is nunchucks. I want to see a lightsaber. Oh, wait, we got that, <laughs> Claren. Oh, yeah, no. oh. Okay! What a stomp! Downer. Yeah, no, and I think uh, we're going to start seeing the issue of, like, uh... Oh, we're playing basketball? Of how many recovery mix-ups there really are, and you kind of need to know what to do. Because, like, in Rivals 2, your recovery starts from the wall. You have to find a way to get to the wall. If you can get there, you have you have way more mix-ups. So, like, Rano can tongue to the wall, then wall jump off, then up B. But there we just saw an instant up B and you just kind of died. Well, on a stage like this, it's a very interesting layout, right? Because yeah. the, the ledge is hovering over Yeah, the it goes wall. way further. Yeah, so it leads to some very interesting edge guard opportunities, right? Because there's like shark opportunities you can be able to do, doing some up airs from below, but also trying to get towards that wall to regain your resources it becomes a little bit more difficult when your opponent is safely at the ledge so far Good away down from down to Good fair, getting the spike. But you see there, that's what we're talking about. That up B going backwards. The only stage, I think, in any platform fighter where you can do that, where you're up being backwards to get to the ledge uh, from like the wall. Yeah, Let's have see. it. Dude, it's oh, yo, oh my god, I was getting the meatball down. <laughs> dude, these players are playing out of their mind right now, throwing out the rock and going for the command throw. They toss it down, toothbrush, hyper aware what was going on, so actually avoids it We're using the bubble what as kind there. of like a cover. Yeah, no, Sparks coming in from Rivals 1, so a lot of experience, but toothbrush showing a great combo there of the uh, downward spike on the fair into the strong up smash. Very reminiscent of Sheik. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, uh, the ninja extraordinaire yeah, coming exactly. out here. Both went to the same school. Yes. <laughs> oh, Shudo, ninja, whatever that's Oh, called. what a bear. That's going to do it. 134 damage. You are sent flying into the plaza one more time. Toothbrush sitting on the final stock here. Waiting to see what Spark is going to be able to bring towards the table. We got some spot dodges coming out here. Recognizing that grabs are coming into the Up equation. Up bear getting a platform tech chase. And now just look at the pressure, the forward airs, the up tilts. But good parry, reversing all that pressure just like that. Coming right back into the thick of things. Some more up air action. The back air ran in a really bad spot. Toothbrush has to go. What an edge guard. That should. Oh! Not <laughs> disrespectful, and you're paying the ultimate price. Another stage transition on top of that. That was so greedy. <laughs> he, you, yeah, he wanted to finish it right there. They, they didn't have to do all that. <laughs> She wanted to end it right there and then. Now we're sitting in a really bad spot. Toothbrush actually capitalizing on this one more time. Gonna See? use the side special to get oh, back on the wall. Oh, tried to read up beat a ledge there. Toothbrush didn't know the wall jump stuff, so just up beat to the stage and died. Got the up special right there. The platform sends him spiking down off of that up special. It's like, yeah, I might have missed it before, but this time, actually,